Rebel Canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, including the old ways. Today we're going to make some fermented garlic. For today's recipe, sanitize one pint jar. So, good morning, Rebel Canners. I am making a fermented recipe today. It is fermented garlic, and I'm going to turn you around. So, I'll go through the list right now with you. You'll need five heads of garlic, peeled. You'll need an salt that does not contain iodine like kosher salt. You'll need two cups of non-chlorinated water. But real quick, um, you need garlic, a pint jar, salt, kosher salt is good, something without iodine because your garlic may change colors, and water that does not have chlorine in it. I just grabbed a bottle of water it's what I had. My water is um, chlorinated, so I had to get something that wasn't chlorinated. So I'm going to get to work peeling this garlic. So here we are. We've got the garlic. I just want to remind everybody to save the peels because I use these in making my vegetable broth. So you can save the garlic peels and use it to make a nice vegetable broth you can cook with. So. I'm going to get to getting all the skins off these, the last of the peels. I've got them separated. And again, I'll be I'm not going to show you all that because I have to have two hands to do it. I'll be back as soon as it's done. To make the brine, add one heaping teaspoon of kosher salt to two cups filtered water, non-chlorinated. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add one heaping teaspoon right in it. So we're going to go ahead and add one heaping teaspoon of kosher salt to our two cups of water. And that wasn't real heaping, so I'm going to air on that side. Stir that up. I'm getting that to dissolve. Still got a little bit in there. I got to add the other water though. So let me go ahead and add this. And then I've got one more. That was just one cup. So we're going to add one more cup of water here. Get our second one. Get the rest of that salt. Really, there we go. Go ahead and pour the rest of that in there. All right, I've got a pickle puck to put on top of that when I get home. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on, but not too tight because I don't want it to thing. And then I'm just going to, you know, rock it every day and it will change color. And then I will add my herbs to it when it's done. So that's it. That's all you do. Thank you, Rebel Canners, and you have a great day. Add fresh herbs such as oregano, basil, parsley, or thyme if you want. Check out this honey garlic ferment video. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to Ring that notification bell.